Hi, my name is Nev, and in a series of videos, I'll go through the setup of a class, SharePoint, and OneNote site. Microsoft uses Teams for this, and so you put in all your student names, and the permissions work themselves out. The setup here and the use is more complex than Google, but it is also much more functional, in my opinion. Let's go. Now, as a Department of Education in New South Wales school staff member, you will have access to the Microsoft suite and also the Google suite. Now, if you can't, if they haven't, if you haven't got them up there, you will find them in Learning Tools. Go down to M. There it is. You can click My Essentials, and the icon will sit up the top. Once you go in here. Uh, you can choose whichever of the Microsoft items you want. I would suggest first of all go to OneDrive. Uh, I'll go there now but the other thing we need is these nine dots so we'll just go into OneDrive um, and we can again see the nine dots. For setup we're going to go in to Teams. And while that's loading, I'm just going to go back here for a minute to our um, uh, uh, to our learning uh, and go look. Have a look at Linda.com. Why isn't it here? Linda.com. Uh, my training. Maybe it's under there. Uh, as teachers, you all have access to Linda.com training. Again, I've got mine up on. Uh, my, uh, with the icons up on My Essentials. If you type in Teams, you can see how to do Team. There are courses on Team Collaboration in Office 365, also for Google Suite and various other courses as well. Okay, so we have opened Teams. I have Team sites for IPT, uh, Two Unit Maths, Standard Maths, Software Design, and the VET IT course. I also have one for myself as a teacher which students don't have any access to. In the uh, team site I can manage the team, I can add teachers and I can add students. If I was to add a student I would start typing their name here. All sorts of names will come up. Uh, if I click one I would then add them and um, they would join my team. Now you have access to everybody's email address via Central and I can demonstrate how to do that in another email. Um, I tend to set that up beforehand but you can have each student walk out and help type their email in uh, and it takes 20 minutes to set up your class. Once you have this done, let's just open this up. You have a general tab and I, to be honest I only use this to set up your files are all sitting in a SharePoint site. You can open in SharePoint and we'll do that in a minute. And you have a OneNote file set up and you'll have all of your student names in this OneNote setup. Uh, you can't sit here. I'll sh show you I've got that open in the app. Okay, so uh, first of all our SharePoint site. I've jazzed up my front page. It's taking a little while to open. Uh, but basically I have all my files just sitting in one folder. Uh, I can also view those files if I wish to uh, in Windows Explorer by coming here and view in File Explorer and then I've got uh, there we go I've got exactly the same files down there with all my drag and drop and options that you have as I have got here. Okay, what does my OneNote look like? If I open here, I get into the online version of OneNote. And while that's opening up, I'm going to look at the OneNote file in the app. Now, I'm a bit anal and have a lesson for a page for each lesson. Uh, but I've also got um, pages for each student here. So I can instantly 
go through, see if students have completed their homework um, and mark it. As well as doing homework here, we have scenarios and I can go through and I can check if students have completed their homework. Uh, so that to me is priceless. It's so quick, much quicker than Edmodo opening web pages and closing them. All right, so back to the online version. Students tend to prefer the online version, and there are all my student names. So the setup is really quite quick. Uh, sorry, I need to go back and just show you that's how it's working now. If I wish to set up a new team, uh, I would just click down here, create a team, give it a name. I tend to have very short names, and then uh, away you go, follow the steps through. There'll be more information in future videos.